Guys, when I, when I washed it out, I knew what this, what, what really happened. So guys, let me tell you about this new journey and what has been going on. So guys, during this relaxer stretch, it has been a bit of a roller coaster. Because you guys know, if you remember, I think it's my last video that I did. I was talking about how my hair is so thick and harder to manage and... It is too thick too quick because like within a month my hair already felt like it was three months stretched so I was a bit overwhelmed with that but after a while and I've introduced the care care and I've been using this and I have been doing my moisturizing and sealing routine it has gotten better and I think in this stretch I also did a lot of protective styling I just had my hair braided up and I would have that in for a week I did not manipulate so much my regime you guys know that I normally go in and I moisturize and see like three times two times a week I have minimized that to two times to one time a week um, I find that because I have my hair up in a bonnet for the most time um, it's not exposed to hair. It doesn't dry out that often. So I really and truly don't need to moisturize it that much. But if I was wearing my hair down, I definitely have to moisturize and seal to protect my ends. But because my ends are always tucked away under a bonnet, I normally just touch my hair like once a week. And I think that has led to me retaining so much length and had and to me protecting my ends and with my ends looking so good compared to how they normally are. Up to about a month, I will wash my hair. A month and a half, I wash my hair every week. And then once I transition into two months where I have more new growth, then I start wash my hair like every two weeks. So to minimize manipulation, because when you're dealing with two textures and on wash days where you manipulate your hair so much, I try and not to do too much manipulation so i go in with two weeks i have minimized my moisturizing and sealing to one to twice a week and you guys know i've introduced the kara care which i kind of want to talk about the kara care in this video the kara care you guys know at first i wasn't wowed about it at all i wasn't wowed as i thought i would have been but i think my hair feels really good using it over time using it and and i have only used the conditioner twice and i have used the leave-in conditioner a couple of times and the first time i used the leave-in conditioner i wasn't amazed my hair felt very sticky i didn't like it and i find that i used too much so that was my bad but i i hope i however had gone to actually try it again it is a really really good product my hair loves that product it moisturizes it like nobody nobody's business i literally have no oil in my hair i use my care here and the oil moisturizer that comes in the cream package and guys it just gives my hair this natural shine that i didn't even seal this off with oil or anything i didn't uh, add any oil at all to my hair so it moisturizes very well it makes it, it doesn't weigh your hair down it makes it very flowy and that stickiness that i thought about i take that back i don't have that stickiness at all still not a fan of the smell per se but it's definitely a product that i know that i can go ahead and i'll purchase it is worth the buck for me so guys you can go ahead and purchase your care care it is awesome um another product that i have been using to moisturize and see which smells amazing is the soft in naturals leave-in conditioner and you guys know that i use my Cantu leave-in conditioners every other product remains the same um yeah every other product remains the same i have not been switching up i think the introduction of the no lie relaxer had also helped so much with me retaining the length i haven't seen a lot of shedding as i normally would and i've seen where even though my hair is thicker and it requires me to kind of tug on it a little bit more i find that the no lie relaxer had left so much texture and so much strength in my hair that it can withstand a lot of damage and, and and exposure to other external factors that would have break my hair if it was in a lie relaxer so i'm gonna admit my hair doesn't look and feel as good as it would with a lie relaxer but in terms of the strength and how my hair will progress i think my hair will progress better with this no lie as you guys can see i've i cut my hair up to here in september and this is a lot of growth being that we're not so 
is like just a few months away from that so my growth has been really good my hair is growing so fast super it has so much this is my hair immediately out of relaxer and when i was in a light journey i wouldn't have had so much body and so much movement in my hair so i feel like the nola relaxer had agreed with my hair so much and i'm really not mad at my switch of course the sleekness and all of that is something that i miss my hair is much more rougher much more textured but i think that is i think that is a good thing as you can see persons who are text laxed tend to be able to retain more length than persons that are relaxed the hair is not exposed to that high alkaline nature as it would if you have left the perming too long or if you had using a light relaxer this causes your relaxed hair to be closer to normal ph of hair and that causes their hair to be much more stronger and much more resistant so persons with text lax hair because of the texture and because a lot of the protein bonds are not broken down they are able to retain more length and i think that it has been what is happening for me i've been able to retain awesome length my, my ends i have to commend have been keeping up very well so Guys, yeah this is my hair this is not the norm for me i tend to battle so much with my ends being thinner regardless that is how my hair grows so this is why these trims are necessary um persons have been saying to me oh you need a trim and all of that um i get a trim every time i do my relaxer that is my routine and if i feel during the stretch that i need to get a trim then i go in and i do a little bit of dusting in my ends no one should feel inclined that they need to do something because someone else says it it is okay you know that when you're starting a journey you might have bad ends and it is okay that you might want to trim it in stages and not do a big chop not everyone wants to chop when i started my journey and my ends were super super bad i literally did not go in and just did a big cut and cut my hair like just like that i took it took it in stages and i trimmed and i trimmed and i trimmed until i got off all the bad ends and my hair flourished very well i didn't have any problems so this has been my hair at the state that it has been and we are progressing nicely so guys this is just a chit chat update you guys to let you know what is going on and guys i just want to thank you thank you for being here i appreciate you guys so so much and i love you guys so stay tuned for the next videos stay tuned for a better schedule i promise you guys i'm gonna work on it do be patient with me as i try to figure this thing out because youtube is harder than we actually think and it takes a lot of dedication so guys that is all i have for you and i'll see you next time Ta -da! Thank you.